Let's do a quick overview of Production Manager for Muto users. What we're going to do is just take a brief tour of Production Manager. We'll set up Production Manager to accept files from any design software, and we'll show you some of the critical settings that you'll need to watch for. All right, let's spend a little time on Production Manager for Muto users. I'm actually in the Flexi Design side of the software, and this is where you design everything. Production Manager is where everything gets produced and ripped or cut and controls your output devices. So anytime you want to send something, you either use the cutter icon or the printer icon. We're going to do a print to show you Production Manager features. So I click on that, and you get a rip and print menu. This is sort of a pre-flight or something like that, if you want to call it. It's a fancy name for getting, this, getting things ready to print. And you can assign all of your attributes to the image here, the color management, the sizing, so forth and so on. Now, I'm not going to do that in this menu, even though that's probably a good workflow. I'm going to actually put my send mode on hold. Normally, it's on send now, so if I click send, it would just start printing. I'm going to put mine on hold, and I suggest that you do as well. It's a really good workflow. We'll put it on hold, and I'll show you why. When I hit send, it actually takes that graphic and transfers it to Production Manager. You can see it loading up here at the top. So once it starts loading, you can then go to Production Manager. And we'll go ahead and go there. And there's my job. So the picture's on top, the information is here, and it's in the whole queue. So the three queues on the side, this is hold, rip and print, and then printing. And this is for the MUTO up here. You can also have your cutter here. You can add any number of devices and they'll just put tabs across the top here. So you can have more than one printer available to you. Now once that job's on hold, what I like to do is double click on that job name and it brings up a, a kind of a really good detailed way of handling the file. I mean, this is where you can change sizes if you want to, right? Um, the second tab over here actually is what do you want to do afterwards? If, if I send that file and it prints, and what happens is it deletes it from my queue, but I can say, put that back on hold. So in other words, send the file, have it print, and when you finish that job, drop it back in the whole queue because I may want to use it tomorrow or the next day. You know, that's, that's a good workflow to have if you want it. Uh, the third tab is color management. This is where you add all your color profiles and make changes. Now, you may have already done that in Flexi, that's fine and they would be transferred here. But you can, again, you can do it here as well. Okay, that's my whole point. Now, the fourth one is really important. These are attributes of your printer. These are, these are the options and features that your printer has. And Muto does a really good job. They have a lot of options to correct for things like banding. You know, they use a weave effect of some kind, or they maybe they have uh, certain uh, vacuum settings or heat settings for certain materials. This is where you're gonna set them up, right here in the in the, in the uh, options for your particular printer, okay? So just be aware that they're here. Uh, third tab is tiling. This actually has to do with times when, for instance, the job is too big to print in one piece. So I'm just pretending here that we have four tiles and I'm printing this job. You can right click on a tile to stop it from printing, right? So I'll print all three and not that one. Uh, or I can turn off these and print that one and kind of adjust my printer if I need to and you know, then print the next one. And the dotted line, the little dash line there, that's the overlap. So you can control the amount of overlap over the, the that's a, in this case, about a quarter inch or so, which is probably enough, but it depends on your, your particular print, right? So I'm gonna say reset that. Again, this is just an overview. You know, you wanna really explore this when you get ready to use it. Uh, this tab actually has to do with labels. If I wanna print something, it'll print the graphic and then across the top up here, it'll print all of these different kinds of settings here. You can even type in your own notes if you want to do that, right? So that's that's up to you. And then we have something called color adjustment. Now, in this case, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to make an adjustment and you'll see, you know, you can actually see what happens on the graphic. You know, it can you can get some really weird weird looking stuff on there, right? So I can adjust it, you know, one way or the other. Now, this I just want to warn you though this is this is a fairly rough adjustment so I would rather you work in your design software first or in Flexi to make these adjustments rather than here but I just want to show you that sometimes you may be able to do a little bit of adjustment here so for instance maybe you're getting a little too much black I can go to the black channel up here and maybe drop down the amount of ink by just maybe four or five percent and that would take out some of the black throughout the graphic uh, but it would give you maybe less black. I mean, it depends on 
on your job, but I just want to show that to you, okay? Uh, this one's interesting, separation. So if I want to take this graphic and I turn on separations, I can print cyan, magenta, yellow, and black uh, for, say, screen printing capabilities or something like that, all right? Uh, an interesting one here, and I'm going to resize this to show this to you. When you resize that, the next one over is called step and repeat, and when you turn it on, you'll see what it does. It actually repeats the job over and over, um, and you can you can do like offsets, right? You can mirror copies. You can. You, there's a lot of different capabilities for this thing. It's really what it's for is more of a. Um, I guess you would say it's it's like for printing textiles or maybe making a backdrop uh, or something like that, a table uh, drop. Uh, but taking the same image and just repeating it uh, as many times as you need, and you can really specify that specifically how to do that. Now for the next one, I'm going to actually increase the size here. So let's say we're printing this as a banner, and we want we want to put grommet markers and that kind of stuff. That's what the next one does: finishing grommet markers. Just turn them on, all right? So it shows all the grommets. You can change it by number or by distance. You can do a fold line. You can do a bleed. So when you fold it over, it you know doesn't leave a white spot line right in there. So this is great for your banner printing. So and you can do a lot of banners with these Muto printers. So this is this is a nice little feature. Shows you where to cut. Shows you all kinds of things. You know you can frame it so that way you would know where to cut if this was you know doing multiple prints of uh, say two at a time or something on a piece of banner material. It, it's it's a great way to to use and and the the capabilities of the program right. So let's turn those off for now, okay? And then the last one, uh, for a bitmap, it's not really applicable. It's called object color control. Bas basically what it's for is if you, if you sample a color, and this is really more for uh, vector artwork, but I'm gonna sample the color of that R right there. And I'm simply gonna tell Flexi, let's edit that color and make it a different color. So you could literally change the color to some other color and what would happen is it would actually substitute the color for that black so sometimes that's good for uh, you know color matching and that sort of thing if you have to do it just have to experiment with that a little bit you notice at the top there's presets here if I if I get this job ready and I'm getting ready to print this thing and and I print a copy of it you know maybe even a test copy and it comes out just great I don't want to have to remember all those settings again so you know what you can do you can save a preset right just go in here and just say, I want to save those tab settings, okay? And then name it something, right? Name it anything you want, anything you want. Click OK on that job. And then what happens is the next time you get ready to print this job, uh, you know, what? all you got to do is just double click on it and go to your presets and then just choose the preset. See how it even resized it? It's, it's, it's getting it ready to print. I mean, it's a... It, it's it's assuming all those those settings that you had before. So make make a series of presets for yourself to make life easy, right? Now I sent that job over using Flexi, but you can click on your printer name here and go to setup. And when you do setup properties, you can click on this install desktop button here, which I've already done, and then click OK. And what that does is that installs the desktop printer driver for that printer and it allows you to print to to Production Manager from any software. So for instance, I'm, I'm recording this and making a little presentation for you, you know, and maybe I've got this, this image over here or this one. I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, find an image that I want to print, right? So looks like I want to change the font style there to something else. I don't like that font style. So, you, you know, I'm working in, in some other program is my point here, right? And then I get ready to send that over to my printer. Well, I go to File and I go down to Print. And lo and behold, in my list of printers here is my... Muto printer right here. I want to print the current slide. So I click send on that, right? Just say print. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to send that job from Microsoft PowerPoint, from Illustrator, from Corel, whatever. It's going to send it to Production Manager. And even though I didn't have color management settings in PowerPoint, obviously, uh, I'm going to stop that job. Um, I can now double click on that job and I can open it up in my Flexi product here, which is kind of nice, right? which is which is interesting and I can you know make it bigger or smaller or whatever I need to do and I can do all my color management right from here and you notice even this even the the fonts and everything are carried with this file so when you're using sometimes you may have trouble 
maybe you're developing some sort of special effect or something like that in Illustrator and it just it just won't open in Flexi for some reason that's no problem print it right from Illustrator send it right to production manager and then go through your tabs just like I showed you and, and fix it right and like in this case sometimes it takes the page size this is the image but the page size was a little uh, larger than the image itself it's no problem just go to the tiling capabilities here and just lower this down you know till it matches the size you want right see what I'm doing I'm just hiding all that white space around the edges because I don't want that and uh, when you do that just lower the tile right there now it's actually the image itself right I mean, you got to be a little careful, more careful than I am. I'll make sure to zoom in and make sure it's right. But the idea is that it's definitely a usable capability here, right? So what we did was we added file from Flexi. We added one from PowerPoint. You can even go right to the file menu and add a file. You can drag and drop files. If if you want to add this file in here, you know, you can drag it and just drop it in there, right? Or you can just say, I want to print that file. And look, I want to use the Muto preset. That's kind of interesting, huh? So you can just click Add, and it's going to load up all the presets that we had for this other job, right? So, you know, it, that's the that's why I say you could set up those presets. You might want to set one up for, for vinyl and for canvas and for, you know, different kinds of products out there. Make a preset. Or maybe it's for a specific customer, you know? This is the powerful tool that you're getting with your Muto printer here. This is Production Manager allows you to do so much with your rip and print. Just keep in mind, once the job's in the whole queue here, all you got to do is double click on it, set up all your stuff up here, you know, whatever settings you want. You can drag it. So if I just want to rip the file but not print it, I'm just dragging it right up here. Drags it right there and uh, starts producing it. So in other words, it's taking the image and producing cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and maybe light cyan, light magenta, depending on your printer. It's separating it, in other words, into the inks that need to be done. And then once that's finished ripping, I could drag it into my send queue up here and it would start printing. Or, or another workflow would be where I click on it and just hit send. And then it'll go through each of the queue. Or just click on it and go up here and hit send. We got three or four different ways of making stuff. So you'll figure one of them out. And I know you're going to really enjoy the production manager. Remember, all those cloud features are available here as well for downloading profiles and things that you need. There's a lot more to production manager. Uh, if you want a full experience uh, learning the entire program, take a look at our Flexi training DVD. It'll give you uh, literally hours worth of training. And I appreciate you uh, uh, listening and hope you have a great time using Production Manager with your new Muto printer. So what's next? Practice. Send a few jobs from your printer to the Production Manager. Send a few cut jobs, a few print jobs. Uh, print and con contour cuts. Just practice a little bit. Hey, it's just that easy with Flexi and Muto.